I live in Bendigo, which is a vibrant regional city. It's almost the best of both worlds. We have that country living aspect, as well as not being too far from a metropolitan city. I'm the founder and editor of Oak Magazine, as well as the host of a friend of mine podcast. Oak is a national quarterly print magazine that covers a vast range of stories from regional, rural and remote, including all backgrounds and demographics. There's lots of little puzzle pieces as to why I started Oak, and a few of them do include a love for print magazines, a craving to share other people's stories as a former journalist, but also two really big pieces. And the first one was standing in front of the magazine aisle at a supermarket and not seeing myself represented as a rural woman who owns a business and has four kids. The other one was traveling around regional and rural Victoria, New South Wales, delivering social media workshops. And I would sit in those workshops and listen to people share why they started their business. And I knew that it needed more than just a caption and a pretty image on Instagram. It started off as a 24 page, tiny little magazine that covered just regional Victoria and Southern New South Wales. And after four years and 11 issues, we now cover stories across Australia. At Oak, being a media platform, we wanted to be a better ally. And that is creating content that is more diverse, that is more inclusive, and that is accessible. My AgriFutures Rural Women's Award project is to create an audio version of the magazine so that our stories are accessible to everyone. This includes those with a visual impairment or learning difficulty. It also helps reduce the feeling of isolation and personally, I love to listen to a magazine when I'm traveling. Sharing a story gives other people permission to feel like they can be seen and heard. Through the audio version of Oak, I can play an active role in helping regional and rural communities feel more visible on the world stage. With less and less regional media outlets, this project helps connect people back to their communities, which has a positive impact both socially and economically. One of the things that has helped accelerate the production of the audio magazine has been winning the Westpac grant it has also given me the confidence to purchase a van, which I will use as a mobile podcast studio and travel around regional and rural Australia interviewing women in their own hometowns. Women in business are the fastest growing cohort in Australia. You wouldn't know it though. Our stories are missing from the media. My aspiration is for more women to share their stories, have courageous conversations and write their own narrative. The stories we share through Oak demonstrate that your postcode isn't a barrier, but an opportunity. In producing an audio magazine, we're making our stories more accessible for everyone so that more women can see what they can be. I'm hoping that, leading by example, other media platforms will follow suit.